Hey there, how's it going? I'm Sean, and this is my top 10 tips for release day. Before we start, these are only going to be tips from personal and other players' experience. If you would like more in-depth guides, go check out my Power Leveling 1 to 25 and How to Tank guide. Now to get started. Tip 1. When you start the game, make sure to go do your Innkeeper's quest when you hit level 12. It's a fast way to get 50 Encumbrance and 500 Azoth to fast travel. Tip 2. In order to travel around to places quicker, go discover shrines when you're near them. They emit a blue blue light in the sky, or an alternative explanation to find them is listed as the following. Go to newworldmap.com, navigate to the filters bar, and click hide all. Navigate to the search bar, and type in regions. Lastly, type in shrine and select spirit shrines. All of the spirit shrines you can find will pop up here, so have the map up when you're near one to find it quicker. Tip 3. When you decide to pick a faction, make sure you know where you are going. You can only change every 120 days, so if Syndicate is dominant on the map, but your friends pick Marauders, go have fun in Marauders. Wars happen every 4-5 to five days as long as territories are contested, so you will always have a chance to get your territory back. Tip 4. Farm Elite's early game to get class specific gear. More info can be found on my Elite Drops guide. 5. When deciding on what weapons you want to run, here are a couple basic combos that people use in the current meta. Spear Bow, a fun mobile light medium build with high dexterity. Great Axe Hatchet, an easy heavy build with high strength and movement speed from Berserk and Charge. Sword and Shield with Great Axe or Warhammer, a beefy tank build with high constitution and fortify sustainability. Life Staff Hatchet, a light support build with high focus and a throwing axe for long range damage. And lastly, Fire Staff Ice Gauntlet, a light build with high intelligence and damage, along with buffs and AoE slows. 6. Bones for Barkamedes can be done at level 23, a repeatable Amarine Excavation quest which gives around 5000 XP upon completion of the Amarine Excavation. Reminder that you have to select the quest outside of Amarine before going in. 7. As soon as you get in town, make your iron tools as soon as you can and steel tools as soon as the workstation has upgraded to tier 3. They will help you gather materials quicker for faster progression. 8. When harvesting materials, make sure to store everything you get. You will most likely always be using the resources you get, and it's important to keep things like modes for late game stone cutting. 9. When going out and exploring, click on blue notes, gather all chests you see, and provisions crates for late game cooking. With high cooking, you can make important buff foods that can boost your luck in mining, wood cutting, and more. 10. When you buy a house in a town, it will be discounted as your first purchase. From here you can make storage chests inside your house to use in that town, alongside your town locker. Thank you all for watching. If you would like more information, please visit our wiki page for additional information relating to in-game drops, weapon mastery traits, and more. Discord will also be in the description, and if you like the video, please subscribe for more content in the future. Thanks and have a wonderful day. See ya!